husband and I were thinking of what to name our youngest. We had several names that came up. A lot of them were super cute. A few of them actually made it to the top of our list. We even talked with our other kids and asked them which names they liked, got their opinions. But all the while, you know, as I was listening to everyone's favorites, I was also thinking in my heart and asking God, you know, what our daughter's name should be. What is her name? I knew that he knew what her name was. I just needed for him to tell me. Naming her was important to me because it was the first label that we were placing on her identity. There's so many people in the world that wrestle with their identity, you know, wondering who they are, what their purpose is, what their value is, myself included. And so it, I wanted to make sure that I could name her according to who she is. Thought about the New Testament. When Jesus first met Simon, soon to become one of his disciples, and how he said, Your name is Simon, but you will be called Peter or Cephas, which actually translate in Aramaic and in Greek as rock or stone. As I learned more about Peter and Jesus' relationship, I was really amazed when I realized that even at the first encounter, even at first meeting Simon or Peter, Jesus already knew who he was, and he knew what his purpose was. Because fast forward in their relationship, Jesus later tells Peter, Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock. And upon this rock, I will build my church, and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. Matthew 16, 18. How did he know? He knew at first meeting Peter, his name needed to be changed. It needed to be changed according to who he was and what his purpose was. That's so amazing. Okay, let's fast forward again and we find in Acts 2.41 that after Jesus was crucified, a lot of people who were following Jesus while he was alive were afraid. They thought, you know, something was going to happen to them as well and they went into hiding, which is completely understandable. And actually all of Jesus' disciples also went into hiding. But remember, Peter the Rock remember what Jesus told him about being built upon this rock I will build my church. It was Peter who led about 3,000 people from all different nations, from all different cultures to Jesus. <laughs> okay, now I am. Now you can go say hi. Hello! Oh. Okay. Hello. I want to say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we fast forwarded a lot. Let's rewind. Let's go back to the point when Simon, not yet Peter, had actually chosen to follow Jesus. What if he didn't though? What if he decided not to? How would he ever know his new name? How would he have ever known what his purpose was? There's power in knowing who you are. And I'm not talking about a self-serving power, one that can be manipulated or even manipulate others. I'm talking about empowerment. I'm talking about having the confidence and the joy of knowing who you are and standing in that firmly, being unshaken because there are times when people will speak against the truth of who you are. They'll speak against the good things in your character. And to know who you are means that you can stand unshaken. 
despite the things that other people might say about you, despite the changes that might happen around you, you know where you're rooted. Stepping into my identity and who I am might be a lifelong thing. I don't know how long it's going to take to be revealed. But one thing that I do know is that if I were to believe God is my creator, then he really is the only one who knows who I am. I can only trust God to show me my identity and my purpose and my value. He's so faithful to reveal to me more and more of who I am. The more I trust him, the more I put my faith in him, the more he shows me. And what he's shown me so far is very humbling, but it's empowering all at the same time. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of gray areas and scary things that I'm just unfamiliar with, but that calls me into a deeper faith with him. It calls me into a deeper relationship with him. He reveals a lot of my inadequacies, but all the while he's assuring me that I'm enough and that where I feel I'm weak, it's okay because he's strong. And it's, it's crazy to think that he's showing me that I am all of these things all at the same time. It's all at once. He's such an amazing God. I can't say that enough.